Big things are mooted for 24-year-old Cambodian Nu Srey Pom. The Kun Khmer world champion who overcame poverty and childhood bullies to become a martial arts star. Now makes her much anticipated one debut. Over 90 Kun Khmer wins. Victories also inside the Lekwe ring. Kampov translate her striking prowess into the mixed martial arts ring here in Bangkok. The 2018 World Litway Championship Female Fighter of the Year. We're going to call her NSP for the match tonight. No kicks to the head of a ground that opponent, no spiking or suplex into the head. She does not want to stand in trade with NSP. She wants to move very aggressive forward, get into the car. She's got a 100% finishing rate. She does not leave it to the judges. She's got the most finishes in one Adam Waite history. So, really, any way you cut it, this match will be entertaining. Two knockouts, two submissions for the tiny doll, Rika Ishige. This one should be a ripper. Mixed martial arts rules. Let's take a look at our tale of the tape. It's the old sporting rivals, Thailand versus Cambodia. Rika Ishige, the elder by five years, the taller. It's is three rounds of five minutes in a one championship women's atomweight contest. Introducing first... Out of the blue corner, she is a Kun Khmer world champion, standing at 155 centimeters tall, holding a Kun Khmer record of 91 wins and 8 losses. Training out of Cambodian top team, representing Cambodia, she is Nu Sre. And now, introducing her opponent out of the red corner. She is a mixed martial artist, standing at 159 centimeters tall, training out of Tiger Muay Thai and Bangkok Fight Lab, representing Thailand. Presenting to you, Rika Tiny Dog. begins your referee in charge mr. Kemp Chang go ahead bud don't leave it back in hand and watch our logo and we'll go back and grab the ropes that's a dog better come Kemp Chang with the final instructions for this one Rika Ishigai against Nus Ray Pop Nus Ray Pop Queen Kumai world go. champion Rika Ishigai, a 100% finishing rate. Can she negate the strikes, the Kunkumai strikes of Nusrei Park? NSP said that Rika Ishigai is scared to get hit, so she should be terrified to get hit by me. NSP, we're doing NSP. We're doing it's official NSP. 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 Oh. She's in the white shorts here. Rika Ishigai and her shark entourage in the black. George Hickman in the corner of Rika. Chan Reach in the corner of NSP. I can't hear from Rika as it should be. Beautiful two punch combination. That had some sting behind it from NSP. She's got to move. She can't stand there and let Rika get close to her. Rika's going to try to back her up. She's not really, she's following her around. She's not really cutting the corner. She needs to step a little bit more. Oh, 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 oh. How do you do? She dropped Rika Rishiko. Here comes the power. Now she's got to get away from this clinch. She's got to swim those underhooks and create space. Rika's dangerous inside that clinch. She's trying to drive her down. You cannot stand toe to toe with a Kun Kamai world champion. Look at the knees to the liver here from NSP. A house on fire in the first round. She got a little bit overzealous. She, got, she knocked her down and she got nice and close. And she allowed Rika to close that distance. 
but she's able to get away. Oh, smack bang! Rika doing a quick count of her teeth. She's in some bother here. The hands are too fast. NSP's got power, she's got speed, she's got determination, my word. Just have a look at how that woman is built. There's a left hook, she drops Rika again! Rika's gotta get composed, she's gotta stay calm when, uh, when NSP starts to pull on her like that. You can see her hands coming up, she's gotta duck under that for a double leg. Rika, if she continues to drop that left hand and doesn't move, he's gonna get knocked out here. NSP, a young lady on a mission to destroy Rika Ishiga. Rika enters forward. And she finds a way to get Yusre Pov on her back. Then it'll be Rika's world. Then it'll be Rikaville. But at the moment, in the stand-up, it's all one-way traffic. And the traffic is driving towards Phnom Penh. Jab two again, straight down the center corridor. NSP says, how do you like that? What have you got in return for me? She's just boxing Michael Swell. She's not throwing any kicks. She's not getting Rika out there, as I say that. She throws one, but she's throwing these kicks very deliberately. Like she's not allowing anything to the body so Rika can't catch it. Big right hand. Oh, and and it's all from NSP. Oh, hook to a right cross. The old 3 2 combination. Beautifully executed. This Cambodian has come out smoking tonight. Rika behind the balls of her feet. Though she is standing in front of NSP, she needs to be moving laterally. Roundhouse kick to the upper left ribs there from NSP. Again, left, right, two punch combo. Plenty of movement from the Cambodian. Reset, says to Rika, come on. Let's go, Tony Doll. Let's see what you've got. Big over right, right, the right for the headache maker. NSP mixes in these the strikes very well. Contest. She's got very linear punches in that one, two, but then she's also got those long, looping punches, those hooks and that overhand right are landing more. Oh, she's beautiful. And she's got confidence. She's got bucket loads of confidence, does the Cambodian, the Kun Khmer world champion. Kun Khmer, the national martial art of Cambodia. Powerful martial art. Tremendous striking arsenal. What the in the first round. And you'll see the Kun Khmer strikes from one of the best here. Moose Ray Park. Rika's hands are low. Her chin is high. And that could be a recipe for disaster. The old 3-2 again there from NSP. I saw it with when Jo Mary Torres did this to Rika Ishige. She was able to land that overhand right, but Rika's able to keep her hands a little bit higher. She's got her hands out in front of her face, but she's landing right there. Oh, now she goes after the double leg. And this piece's got to turn. She can't allow Rika to get up against the cage, but, or the ring, rather, because this ring favors the striker. The fight is throwing the elbows. The shots in the audience like the elbow from Rika Ishige. What a round though from NSP, comes forward again, and there's the heavy salvo off the right hand. Rika ties it up, beautiful move of the lips there from NSP. So she gets too close to Rika when she starts to flurry in. I like it when she keeps a little bit of separation and she keeps that distance. So she's able to land the shots and then move out. It's when she rushes in and she gets too close to Rika, that's when Rika has the opportunity. There's that nice, it looks like it was a glancing forearm, just caught her off balance and put her on her butt. But nice little, there's a nice little two hand, but then she was able to, she just doesn't have her footing underneath when she attempts to rush in with Rika. And there's another hook. She's getting cut off balance, the game plan here. She's got to look for double legs off in these punches. That's the opportunity. And grab that double leg. We're seeing NSP for the first time. World Kunkamai champion also. 2018 World Lightweight Championship Female Fighter of the Year. That way, of course, the Burmese martial art. We've seen in Myanmar, incredible striking art. Great sport to watch. Similarities between Muay Thai, Lightway, and of course, Kukuma. Good outside leg kick there from NSP. Give instructions coming from the corner from George Hickman to Rika Rishigan. Don't forget under these global rule sets here, scoring is an overall contest, not round by round. If you 
were scoring round by round, though certainly first round NSP. Yeah, the first five minutes have been all NSP. She's been able to land big shots, and she's also been able to have land kicks. She's been able to attack the legs, and also she's throwing body kicks as well, but none of these kicks are empty. She's not just throwing one kick. She's putting these combinations together. She's throwing two punches, three punches, and she's punctuating it with a kick. Just a larger athlete is NSP. She actually walks around about seven kilos heavier than Riku Ishige. But the speed and the power in those very good hands of hers. Over 100 Punkumai belts for NSP. And Rika's got to find a way to get her to ground. It will be interesting to see what Lusre Pop can do if she goes to canvas, if she's got anything in her arsenal. Outside leg kick, late check there for Rika. Rika goes downstairs herself. Comes to the elbows on the inside, but they didn't stay there for long. This is part of our prelim show coming at you live from the Impact Arena in Bangkok, Thailand. It's one championship clash of legends. Nice counter right hand there from NSP. Look at the size of her arms. What a specimen from Cambodia. She's changing things up well. She can go forward, and she can be aggressive, but she can also wait for Rika to engage her first and then counter off of that. So it's hard for Rika to get a gauge on what her tempo is going to be because NSP keeps changing it. She's got to get better defense this time. She's not letting her hands drop. She's not getting caught with those punches the same way. What would George Hickman be telling Rika in the corner at the moment, Dragon? Well, I like how she's throwing the feints. You can see that she's changed that up. She's throwing a little bit of feints and a little bit of level change. But she has to wait for that moment right there. When she commits to that two, when she throws that right hand, she can duck under and go for a double leg. And 3-2, the left to the right cross combination is bread and butter for NSP. You can see the way Rika reacts to the punches, like her hands are up and she's kind of flailing around to try to defend. She's not able to change levels to effectively get that takedown. No counters here from Rika Rishige. Plenty of movement, but not a lot of action. I hear Kim Ching actually saying to Rika Rishige, I need more action. Just gets a little clipping with the right hand there from NSP. 145 remains, second round, NSP in control, the Cambodian in the white, the Thai in the black. Right hand lead in there from Rika, tries for a meet and greet knee to no avail. She's trying to clinch from the upper body, so you can see that she gets close enough to get into a clinch, but there's no level change. She's not dropping down and attacking the legs. And so new NSP has kind of got that clinch game figured out, where she can just press her from the cage or turn the you know, turn her around and get away from her. He's got to do something different with the takedowns. It's Rika hoping that NSP is going to tire here, trying to deliberately lead her into deep water. Quite possibly, but I mean, I think I, I counted off for a record. Well, NSP well, has multiple well, five round matches. So she's used to going the distance. She's used to, you know, getting, you know, long time in that ring. And this is a ring, you know, so the ring typically is going to favor the striker. There's not a cage that you can press somebody up against with and start working on. Good counter right hand there from NSP. Under 40 seconds remaining, second round of three. Board of photographers and media here ringside. Third round is in the second round. Historic night of martial arts action coming your way, including our main event, the inaugural one Super Series Phantomweight World Multi Title. Good rocking right hand again there from NSP. There you go. That's what I was talking about. Get that double leg. But NSP was able. Good hips. She was like a jack in the box. Drop back to her feet there, NSP, and she flips her arms and says, Come on, Rika. Let's go. Fires a right hand. Two down. One to go. NSP in control. You were asking what was she was going to do when if Rika was able to get her to the ground and it was popped back up. You can just see the defense. You know, her arms aren't tight. They're not in the correct position. She's not parrying off correctly. Her hands are up. Her eyes are shut. She's just getting drilled in the face. 
just like that. That was a knee off the entry there as she was coming in. You know, New Strike used that range to stop the takedowns. And also, when she was getting taken down, she was able to pop right back up. Third and final round. And 29-year-old Rika Ishigai, the tiny doll from Thailand, find a way to get win number five. But what a performance. What a one championship debut it's been so far for Yusei Pro of Cambodia. The striking has been superb. That right-handed power, that lead-handed speed. Rika backs her up. She's got to commit here, Ishigai. See the difference in the stance between these two athletes. See how NSP looks through her brow a lot more. Rika's chin is hanging out there very dangerous. Watch your finger. Just gotta be careful not to open up the fingers on the striking here. NSP warns Kim Chen. And you're throwing the ball hand. Rika moves on. She had success. Stages of the second round doing that. Well, they went to ground only briefly, but maybe gave some confidence to Rika. But NSP doesn't sit still when Rika gets that clinch. She immediately starts to circle out. So she's not, you know, Rika's not able to set her in, settle into her clinch game. Her clinch game has been most successful up against the cage or the ring ropes. That's when she's able to drag people down. But NSP doesn't stay still, she's always moving. Rika faking here. NSP circling counterclockwise away from the power side of Rika and Kemchen is going to warm both ladies. Okay. He wants more engagement here. Same size of the arms on NSP. She's got massive legs on her as well. Good. Chap to the body. I like a little level change, that little faint just to get. You know, NSP thinking about that, just to let her know that, hey, I can't, I'm, I'm thinking about the takedown too. Don't get too comfortable with your hands. This one has pretty much been a striking contest. Only went to the ground for not even five seconds in the second round. Low kick there to the inside leg from NSP. And the three minutes remains now. Rika's got to find a way to put hands on her and get her down. NSP has slowed, doesn't have the output she had in the first round or earlier on in the second. So there may be an opening, a chance here for Rika Ishige to somehow swing the pendulum. Do you think Mishra Paul is just kind of coasted at this point? This, this really, she hasn't really put down the, the pedal to the metal. She's clearly ahead. I'd like to see her surge. You know, look for the knockout. Try to push the pace a little bit. See if you can get Rika to will. Two minutes 15 now. Someone's got to tell that photographer ringside to kill that flash. That's very dangerous. NSP circling back into that left side. Nicely timed there from the Cambodian. That was wonderful. There's an inside Viking. Jab two there from NSP. She continues to put down the points. What can Rika Ishigay do? She's just caught in that momentum of NSP. They've been looking to shoot in an or clinch up with her and try and get a takedown. Hands are low, chin is high. And NSP makes her pay for it. So now NSP's waiting for that engagement. She's not going first. She's changed up her strategy at counterpuncher. And she has hit Rika again with the top of the forearm. These aren't clean shots at landing, but because of Rika's footwork, it's, she's getting caught off balance and she's landing with these strikes. She's trying to close the distance and she's just getting caught on one foot. And that's when the punch is coming over the top, grazing her head and putting on her butt. It's the third time that's happened. One minute left in the final round. Unearthed a new star in the mixed martial arts realm. A star in the making in New St. Paul. Haven't seen her ground game. We've seen a little defense. She sprung up from a takedown by Rika late in the second round. Her striking has been something else.
It has been dominant again, 3-2, hook to right cross. Thirty seconds left in the final round. Thirty seconds to go. It's all for Rick to do now. It'll take a miracle, I feel, for the time. Is there a miracle in Bangkok tonight for Rick Rishiga? NSP has been so focused, laser-like intensity. He rocks the jaw back again. She's got the opportunity right now. She could end it, but she chooses to end it on her feet. Rika had her moments in this match, but it was all NSP. What a debut for the Cambodian world champion. Here's Rika coming forward. That was nice. She came in, she landed the hook but she wasn't able to capitalize on it. She wasn't able to push forward. There she is getting flurried on, getting rushed. Good performance from NSP. Welcome to one championship. Fantastic performance from NSP. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the Blue Corner, New Spain. The Cambodian flag flies high in Thailand tonight. Courtesy of that young lady, and she is a martial arts machine. She is a Kun Kamai world champion, and now, She's a winner on the biggest martial arts stage of all, New Stray Park. And coming up next,